The National Diversity Pre-Law Conference and Law Fair is a national outreach, networking, and empowerment event designed specifically for diverse, aspiring lawyers from across the country. Through keynote and special guest speeches presented by prominent lawyers and thought leaders and dynamic panel discussions and workshops led by knowledgeable professionals, this event connects students with critical law school admissions, preparation, and career success information that they otherwise might not receive from websites and other forms of media. Hi everybody, my name is Natalie Morales. I am from Fairfax, Virginia. I'm attending the Diversity Pre-Law Conference and I am having a great time. I'm learning more about the prospective colleges that I want to apply to for law school and more information about financial aid. Held annually in the nation's capital, it goes further than most pre-law events by directly addressing the very real and difficult issues and concerns and added challenges facing diverse law school aspirants, law students, and lawyers. Because the first year of law school is much different than any other endeavor you've had. Right? You may have heard that, you may have heard your friends or relatives saying how hard law school is, but until you're there, you don't know really what they're talking about. You think you know, but you don't. Because one of the things about law school is that you're going to learn a new language. There are many who will tell you not to go to law school. It's expensive, it's a lot of work, jobs aren't plentiful, lots of lawyers are miserable. Yeah, all true. But when you go to law school, if you do it for the right reasons, if you do it because you're not motivated simply because you, know, you think you're going to have a, a cushy lifestyle, although that's always nice if, if you're able to. If you do it because you're trying to make our society a fairer one, a better one, if you're trying to leave the world a better place than the way you found it, you could find no better profession in which to do it. And there's a lot of causes for you all to get involved. You young lady, you've been involved with Ferguson, you've been involved with whether there are two justice systems in this country, one for white, one for black. Every day you hear something about police brutality. And again, you mentioned Fisher and Gruder, those assault on diversity. There's people out here who don't want diversity and they're fighting it. Equal pay, women still are not paid as much as men. Abortion rights are being chipped away. The Civil Rights Act of 1965, Section 4 is being chipped away and they got these prayer clearance. All of these things, freedom now, what's this religious freedom, businesses can discriminate against gays and women. There are so many things that you all could do. You get out there. Let's get people from the margins that have been intentionally excluded for hundreds of years, put them to the table. Right? So when they say, yeah, security threat, these Muslim looking folks, people with Asian faces, right? Blackness is a proxy for danger, right? And you have diversity at the table. My conjecture is people would say, wait a minute, you're not talking about those other people. You're talking about me, right? You're talking about people I care deeply about, people I love very much. And when you demonize and degrade them, it is completely inaccurate. Right? You could push back a little bit. That is the value of diversity. This is not some PC chit chat. We all feel good about each other. Right? You share some of my food, I'll share your food, and we all feel good. That's part of it. Yes. But let's talk about the underside. Right? That's often neglected. Right? Let's talk about the pain. Right? And link the policy, the public policy, to your pain. The one thing that can't be disguised is the cost of law school. It's real. But I represent to you it's going to be one of the best investments that you've ever made. Uh, certainly one of the best investments that I made, and, and I love the profession. Through the Law School and Diversity Resources Fair, the National Diversity Pre-Law Conference and Law Fair brings together and connects these diverse aspiring law students with invaluable resources. Participants not only have the opportunity to speak one-on-one -on -one with representatives from a variety of law schools interested in recruiting them, but also organizations that have pre-law programs and initiatives and prospective employers that are all in support of the common goal of bringing about more meaningful diversity and inclusion in American law schools and in the legal profession. I mean, the, the panelists were very great. They're, they really know what they're talking about, and I just get out of here with a lot of information. I mean, very critical and important information that I take with me home, and I'm pretty sure that uh, next summer I will get into a, a law school uh, to start my career. 
The National Diversity Pre-Law Conference and Law Fair stands apart by offering attendees seminars in diversity leadership, coalition building and collaboration, and cultural competencies so that they can have the necessary guidance, tools, and strategies to take on leadership roles in the area of diversity and inclusion once they become law students at their respective law schools and then once they become members of their state's lawyers organizations. Further, it encourages attendees to utilize their law degrees in furtherance of service, advocacy, and social justice. I would tell people who are indecisive about law school that when a passion and a career meet, it's one of the most beautiful things that can happen. And if you come to this conference, you'll be able to really secure your life choices if you want to become a lawyer. You're going to hear incredible stories about social justice, advocacy, and how passionate you can be and how law can really help you unravel that passion. The National Diversity Pre-Law Conference and Law Fair aims to provide aspiring diverse lawyers with access to game-changing information, connections, and resources, all in one place at one time. What we're looking for is the educational benefits of diversity. So when you have the opportunity to write a diversity statement, you need to write it. Because if you are an African-American working person, great. There are a lot of you in that group. But in your diversity statement, you can tell us what that has meant to your life, what, edit, what that is going to mean to the educational enrichment of the classroom, and how we as an institution and that classroom is going to be better off because you are there. We are an event designed for those who want to be lawyers, who can compete and make a difference. We are the Pre-Law Conference with the Conscience. Join our movement. Yeah.